Hola. I am the Wind Man and I'm playing small wood tanks. Which I do a lot, turns out. Uh this is a nice little match I got with my SU twenty six, which I use as a cash tank, and I was playing with Dog Thumbs, which is Dingling from our Minecraft videos, but yeah, same dude. Uh, he's a noob at this game, so I just got some footage of us playing some World of Tanks, and he didn't do so hot. Well, he is a tier 2 and a tier 5 match, uh, because of me on accident. Uh, I'm going to speed this up because this is a pretty long replay, uh, but a lot of work is done, and I like doing work, so... Uh, here we got a little A20 over there. I know where he is. I'm just waiting. Because I like to see how much damage I do, of course. Two times. Double speed. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, fire. Oh, I'm in a big miss. Sad face. I slowly move up just because I feel like it. And, uh, I'm just getting ready. I want to defend base. I want us to cap fast. Is that same A20? I missed by a long shot. And that looked painful. And I'm like, okay, don't worry, team. I got. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Not even close. Oh. Then there was this uh, little M2 medium that I missed completely. Again. I really wanted the kill, but I knew it probably wasn't going to happen because, well. People like to ram in this game. Poor Dog Thumbs got taken out by artillery. And, uh, yeah. I hit that Stugel, Stug 3, right in the right in the rear compartment back by his engine. I was pretty sure I wasn't going to get this kill, just because our team is pretty on top of shooting people once I hit him. Uh, this Churchill 1 shows up, and I said, ah, I'll shoot you in the side of the turret. 46 damage, and that ain't going to get the job done, but it's still definitely worth it. This little UE57 over here decides that he's going to make my day terrible, and I'm a terrible shot, but it turns out to be just fine because my KV takes him out. We're even in the odds right now, and I feel like taking a couple more shots at this Churchill. I'm going to aim in front of him, and direct hit. That's almost my full damage at 126. Probably hit him right in the front of the turret. So I know he's on cap, and, well, he shows up because I barely missed him right there. This Hetzer, I was really worried about this Hetzer because I thought he was coming to kill me. But I decided not to waste a shot because I only have 15 left and I don't know if I'm going to need them all. The Hetzer goes and hides behind the rock. So I figure I'm safe to shoot some more shells at this Churchill 1. And I was. Tracked him. I tracked him. Well, teammates aren't getting it done here. And he gets his track right as I shoot, I think. Nope, next shot. He's still going. All I see is his TDs and this Churchill, and, well, that's basically all they got left except for artillery. I realize, crap, I've only got 12 shells left. Might as well waste some on a Valentine AT. Zoom in, takes a long time to reload, and I shoot the ground in front of him. Yep. Shoot the ground in front of him. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Because, you know, hitting a tank is overrated. And your aimer being correct would also be helpful. Now, this gameplay doesn't look that great. Well, that's because it hasn't gotten good yet. This Valentine AT moves over towards the flag. I get a good shot on him. As in, I dinged him somehow. I'm still waiting to see that Churchill. I got a good shot on the Valentine AT. Go to hit the Churchill. Doesn't do anything. But uh, the game, we got their Valentine AT taken out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I fired. Oh, man, it's taking a long time. 
I was overjoyed, and then I realized, crud, Artie on Artie, the ultimate showdown. This thing's a pretty good TD, um, so I've got five shells, and I'm going to make them count. I, I decided that I was going to say good game at this point, because I don't think I'll be able to say it before the match ends, as in I was hoping I wasn't going to blow up. I use Dog Thumb's body here. This SU-26 decides to uh, show himself. He must have been near Cap a while ago. I zoomed in a bit on him and blasted him. One shot. Real good. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just sit on Cap, avoid artillery, and here comes a priest. Kind of a derpy shot, but still almost get him. I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. I just got to go TD mode. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. One HP. One. One. That's not even... No, that's, that's not even cool. Not cool. Well, I said GG. One HP. GG to you, sir. Paul here looks like he's lost. My M7. And I'm saying, oh, oh no. Well, he's doomed. There's a grill behind him, and the priest on cap can probably still shoot him. Come on, Paul. Don't fail. Paul missed. He mi The grill misses. What? How? How did Paul kill him? He did a little stop and go, missed another shell. I'm like, oh, wow. Paul must be the luckiest guy ever. Because this is a little bit obnoxious, how good how, how good these shots were. Well, there's that priest, 1%. I'm like, you got this, Paul. Come on, please, please. I want my five times. Oh, he's got the, tri the priest tracked. And then, yeah. We did it! Well, for how seemingly cruddy that game was, I got a one-shot, and that made me pretty happy. Here's some snack. Some, not some snacks. Some stats for you.